been over a year and uh, I don't have any headaches. I don't have any joint pain. I can, I can do things that I haven't been able, I could only dream that I'd be able to do again. The other thing that was really special here, not only <laughs> having my body heal itself, is that the staff here, they're so humble because they know they're just helping your body do the work. Uh, but, you know, they're our new family. Hi, my name is Jeffrey uh, from Phoenix area, originally from Wisconsin. Uh, what brought me to Arizona was, in 1996 was I had Lyme disease. Um, in 1987, I contracted it, uh, found the tick. Uh, it was the fifth registered case of the state of Wisconsin, actually. Uh, but it was fairly new then in Wisconsin, and they didn't know how to treat it quite right. Uh, so I went through all kinds of treatments, kind of a test subject to see what was going to actually work to take these conditions away. Uh, some of the conditions that I suffered early on was uh, my hands, I couldn't use my hands. I was an auto mechanic at the time and I would get real tired all day long and I couldn't hold my wrenches and I couldn't, I, I was 26 years old, I couldn't figure out why I was so tired. I got headaches, uh, my joints were just all painful. I felt if I could imagine what an 80 year old man would feel like, that's kind of how I explained it to people. Uh, finally, I couldn't even hang over the fenders anymore and, and I couldn't work. Um, within six months of being bitten, um, my arthritis and the pains got so bad I could not even walk. Um, they were injecting cortisone into my heels just so I could stand on my feet. I couldn't walk from my house to my mailbox, which was about 60 feet, without having to sit down and rest so I could get back to the house. Um, it was really a struggle at that time. I had two boys and I had dirt bikes all built for us to ride and snowmobiles to ride and all these dreams of things you were gonna do with your, your boys, you know. And I couldn't even, I couldn't even get out of bed. Um, ended up losing the house. Uh, it seemed like I lost everything. All the doctors that I seen I know that they really, in their hearts, wanted to help me. I know that. But the avenues we were going weren't working. I mean, I, at one time, I was taking 14 different oral meds. Half of them were for the side effects of the other half. At the same time, I was taking 4 million units of penicillin G intravenously every four hours around the clock for three weeks. I was a pincushion. Um, I, I was bleeding inside and outside. It just finally got to where I was just so sick. I couldn't even take the medicines anymore. And I managed to suffer through life. I, I, I would say it wasn't easy. I just, you know, man up and try to get through and try to act like I was okay. But I hurt every day and felt like it was hopeless. Then all of a sudden, it seemed like I was attacked again, really, really hard. Um, and I was going really fast. People at work were worried about me. My wife was worried about me. My wife and I, we have uh, just a beautiful marriage. We believe it's from God. And, and, uh, but we both know that there'll be a day that our life will be over here. And we agreed that the other who was left was gonna get a puppy for the companion. And without her knowing how bad I was really feeling, I started to hint around, we should get a puppy. And she didn't catch on right away, but she eventually caught on uh, why I was doing this because I honestly did not think I was gonna be around maybe more than two months because I could feel it. She mentioned to me about Sunridge. Um, she also mentioned it to me about two years earlier. And at that time I was still this tough guy thinking, nah, it's not gonna work and I reluctantly came in here, uh, waiting to see Dr. Franco. Uh, 
I'm sitting going through my head of all the different doctors I've seen and all the different medicines I've taken and all the different hope that was thrown my way. Um, I really didn't want to go through that again. That almost was as painful as all the different things I went through was to, to feel like you actually were going to be better and not be better. Uh, so I looked at my wife and I said, you know, I, let's give it a shot. I mean, I'm thinking in my head, I don't have very much longer anyway, so if this works, it's good. If it doesn't, we really didn't lose anything. But it makes sense now because uh, it's been over a year and uh, I don't have any headaches. I don't have any joint pain. I can, I can do things that I haven't been able, I could only dream that I'd be able to do again. Uh, don't have that puppy, which I'm grateful for, but one of my passions was riding motorcycles. Um, I got my bike again. I get to ride, I got my life back. And now, it's, uh, life's exciting. And I'm very, 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 very grateful.